Have you ever wondered why we need different tools for just to keep track of things? And why do we have to split up notes about the same thing? Like notes, events, and reminders about your pets. Why not just create a dedicated folder for your pet and keep everything neatly organized in one place? Introducing Penloop, the place where you can store various types of notes in a single place. Not just notes, to-do, and calendars. There are many other types of notes you can have. Let me show you how it works. The interface is clean, straightforward, and intuitive. If you can navigate your phone, you've got this. Plus, it's sleek and runs smoothly on all your Apple devices. See here, I've got reminder, event, and bookmark, and I can sort them all into folders. Let me demonstrate how to add new notes here. To add something new, just tap the plus and pick what you want. I will select Note. You can tap Expand to hide everything except the note itself. Here, you can type anything, add images, drawings, today's date, ordered or unordered lists, and even simple to-do lists. You can also view data about your notes, like word count, sentences, and estimated reading time. It's all right here for you. In addition, have a look at this folder. I have numerous events and reminders here. You can see the countdown for each. I can manage events and reminders with folders like this, and I can also view them in calendar format to track what events are scheduled and the number of occurrences each day. You have the option to select either five rows or two rows. You can filter your data by day, week, month, or even year. Another great feature is organizing your tags within folders. There's a dedicated section for all my tags, allowing me to assign these tags to each of my journal entries. This makes it simple to filter and view entries for happy days, sad days, or both. Another example is prioritizing tasks within each folder, using important for work and important for personal matters, keeping them separate and organized. You might have noticed that my folders come with various icons and colors. You have the option to select icons and colors or input anything you prefer, such as emojis, abbreviations, or numbers. This system is utilized across various areas of the app. For example, in Reminders, you can pick an icon or add a number to track tasks, like drinking seven cups of water. And there are many themes you can choose from. Aside from those, you might have other things you want to track, like your meditation sessions, work hours, or exercise days. Here, I have a folder for my exercise. First, let's check out my timer. I can track my cardio time with this and view the history here, even exporting it as a CSV to continue working on other apps like Microsoft Excel. And for tracking the days I exercise, here's my exercise log. I can easily add a new exercise or select from previous ones. It's super simple to log. Plus, I can view all of it on a calendar and export everything as a CSV too. Another great feature of this app is how it stores your data. Unlike most apps that keep your data locked away on their servers or within the app itself, this app stores your data as files like PDFs or Word documents. That means it's private and secure. You can store it anywhere you like, back it up, copy it, or even share it. Plus, you can have as many files as you need, giving you plenty of space for all your notes. Check this out. I've got one file for my personal notes, syncing across all devices with iCloud Drive, and another file just for notes related to this project. Everything stays separate and organized. There are plenty of other features I haven't even touched on, but don't just take my word for it. Give it a try yourself. It's a one-time purchase for all your devices. No subscription, no in-app purchases. I believe anyone with Apple devices would benefit from this app at any time. Plus, if you don't like it, you can always refund your purchase. Thank you for watching.